If you could find your seats, please. We want to make sure that we give the kids lots of time for all the work and the uh, practices that they've had. The only other thing I want to say is somebody sneaked a couple more prayer requests in on me while I wasn't looking. Um, we have a prayer for strength and insight for a life-changing event. Julie Flockersy is at UPMC. We want to keep Julie in our prayers. And also a prayer for a person with breast cancer. So keep those in prayers and join with me as we start our worship to the Lord. Thank you.
Good morning and welcome to Grace Church here in Oil City. Would you please stand and join me in the call to worship? Today there are 23 days until Christmas. Today there are 29 days until 2019. But do you realize that today also begins a new year? Today is the first Sunday of Advent, and Advent is the beginning of the church's year of worship. In Advent, we begin to tell again the wonderful story of God's redeeming work in Jesus Christ. Jesus entered our world as a helpless baby, yet he entered the world to do God's most awesome work. Are you ready for a new beginning? Are you open to hope? Are you ready for God's grace to surprise you? join me in the prayer of God's people is printed in your bulletin. Merciful God, you sent the prophets to preach repentance and prepare the way of our salvation. Give us grace to heed their warnings and forsake our sins, that we may celebrate in holiness the birth of your Son and await with joyful anticipation the coming in glory of our Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
The world waits for a miracle. The heart longs for a little bit of hope. A child prays for peace on earth, and she's calling out from a sea of hurt. O oh come, O oh come, For all who wait, for all who hunger, for all who've prayed, for all who wonder. Would you please pray with me? Almighty God, as this Advent season starts, as this Christmas season starts, there is much in our mind and much in our heart. Calm us, Lord, and help us to focus on you, trusting that you are in charge of our lives, all we think, all we say, and all we do. We pray for peace, Lord, in this land and in your world. We pray for the blessing that you promised when you told us, peace on earth. We know it's not our peace, but your peace, and grant it to us in our hearts. Almighty God, there are those in this church and in this community that we pray for. We pray for those who may not feel the joy of the Christmas season, who are hurting, and who need your touch. We pray for those that are hungry, that are cold, that are homeless. Help us to reach out and to help them. We also pray, Lord, for a person with breast cancer. We pray for the healing touch on them. We pray for an individual who is requesting prayer for strength and insight for a life-changing event. Lord, you are with us always, and we all join in that prayer. We pray for Julie Falkersey. We pray for Lynn. We pray for Stacia, and we thank you for the progress that she's made. You are so good, and you care for all of us, Lord, and we praise you and we bless you for those things. We pray for the persons who are receiving the military boxes today, for Deandra and for his wife, Katie. Lord, they're celebrating this Christmas holiday apart in different parts of the world, and they are both serving us. We lift them to you, and we lift to you all of our military. On our hearts as well, our Mel and Byron, we know that you are with them, and help them to know that they are with us in our hearts this day. We pray for Lauren, for Lucas, and for all those in this congregation and in this community who are hurting physically, emotionally, mentally, we ask your blessing on all of us, Lord. And we join now as we sing together the Lord's Prayer in honor of you, Lord.
Would the ushers now come forward as we present to the Lord our gifts, our tithes, and our lives. Please pray with me. Almighty God, we bring you these, our gifts, that we offer to you along with our lives and our hearts and our trust. Help us to use these gifts and to use our lives to your glory, where all glory lives. Thank you, Lord, for the things you give us. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for this congregation, for this day, and for these kids who are going to present us your message. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Hello? Intelligence? So you're saying you're a spy? Shh. Agent E, do you have this situation handled? Yes, we have no choice now but to activate her. Activate me? Awesome! Thank you all for coming to our secret headquarters for today's briefing. At your service, Commander, we're glad to come when you call. Commander, as you can see, we have an unexpected guest. I think we have all seen her, Agent E. Commander, Franny is a friend of mine from school, and I assure you she is completely trustworthy. I can vouch for her too. She lives in my neighborhood. Agent, this sounds like a conversation that we should have in private, don't you think? Well, thank you, Agent L. Are these made of fruitcake? Yes, they are. Hey, Ron. Commander, she followed us here, so I sort of had to tell her we were undercover. Agent E, Christmas intelligence kids can't be s secret agents if we can't keep it a secret. Excuse me. Just a minute, please. We'll be with you. I know, Commander, and I would never do anything to jeopardize the CIK. Excuse me. Franny will be a great addition to the CIK, except for a slight clumsiness. I've done the calculations, and, and there is a 97% probability that she'll be great. Um, I can still hear you. Oops, I should have eaten again. Good evening, my Good news is these things will be good for lunch. Agent O, now she knows even more than when she got here. I can fix that. I can go to the AV machine. Where is it? Well, I tested on myself, so I forgot where I left it, but I'll go look for it. Well, Agent E, I see we have no choice but to activate your friend. Your name? Franny. Franny, this year your code name will be Agent O. Welcome to the CIK. Welcome, Agent F. Sweet, what next? So it gets going to spy mission? Take out some bad guys? Can I use karate? Hiya! That won't be necessary. Here's your hat, Agent F. As you all know, each of our agents has to have communication devices in case we need to contact you. Like a cell phone? Yes, but it's a hat. May I have an eye hat? Cute. I found it. I found the memory eraser. I just had to trigger 
bed. Chair. I just had to adjust the chair. We'll bring it here. Bring what there? Forget her. Let me explain, Agent F. You see, every December, we search for ways to bring Christmas cheer to people in need. And this time of year, there are a lot of them out there. Yes, I've seen a lot of her hurting people. We've got to help them. Okay, everyone. I, I've gathered you all here because we have a new mission. Yay! Yay! Ooh, I love a good mission. Woohoo, me too. Where's the memory eraser? Memory eraser? <laughs> There's no such thing. Ooh, that's a great idea for an invention. But I do have a new gadget that, was, that will be perfect for a silent night like this. A silent night? A, a silent night! night. Now that Agent F has been briefed, I have an urgent mission from a high-profile client who has just retained our services. As you all know, we usually like to fly under the radar and seek out our own Christmas missions, but this client was particularly convincing on the phone. She insisted on coming to give us the mission herself, and here she is. Who is in charge here? I am. You must be Miss King. Agents, I'd like to introduce you to Miss Harriet King. Parrot rhymes with parrot. I'm sorry. It's pronounced parrot. The I is silent. Okay, so King Herod, got it. Did you say King Herod? I said King Herod, King comma Herod. Well, it sounded like. I know what it sounded like, but. <coughs> Can we get on with this? Certainly, Miss King. Is this a secure location? Why, yes, you may speak freely in front of all my agents. Agents? Why, these are just children. Yes, but they are fully trained Christmas intelligence operatives. Uh, 
They were children into the CIA. Actually, we're the CIK Christmas Intelligent Kids. Oh, that's what I guess for skimming the contract, I guess. So why don't you fill us in on the details of the mission, Miss Kane? Absolutely. Lately, I've noticed some unusual activity at one of the warehouses I own in this town. It seems there are shipments arriving every day. Brown paper packages of all shapes and sizes. Now, naturally, I try to stay out of the affairs of my tenant, but I do need to know if anything illegal is going on. Commander, I can use my new invention, the Jingle Alert, that I'm pending. Another invention, Agent Al, I don't need to remind you about the track record of your other inventions, do I? The, anti, the chocolate anti-gravity boots? The cotton candy umbrella? Oh no, Commander, not this time. The Jingle Alert has been tested and is field ready. When our CIK team retrieves the information for Miss King, I'll just push this button and alert you here at the base. Then you will know the mission has been accomplished. It doesn't explode or anything, does it? Not so far. All right, agents E, L, F, and S, assemble your supplies and meet at 2000 Bethlehem Way at 1700 hours. Yes, my first mission! Everyone else dismissed. You know, we usually only accept missions that include bringing Christmas cheer to help the needy. Yeah? After we uncover your information, we'd really like to do something special for the people there, if you don't mind. Oh, well, that's your thing. That's your business, I guess. I just need you to do your spy thing. I'll take care of the rest. Understood. Miss King, Merry Christmas. Uh, oh, Merry K. <coughs> Christmas? Look, that's the word. And it started oh so many years ago. When I was young, there was a toy store down the street. <laughs> Can I get a little more of myself on the monitor, please? A what monitor? And candy that was sweet. Did you bring your own microphone? We didn't have much, so I wrote a note to Santa, asking him for one thing, a bicycle with trains. But the present never came, and that was the day I knew. I don't. 
Can you believe it is nearly time for our nativity play? Thank you all for working so hard to help our community and prepare for our play tonight. Before I go any farther, I'd like to introduce Miss Willow, my assistant. Please welcome her with a hearty applause. Hi everybody, I'm glad to be here. Before we rehearse, are there any questions? Are we gonna have a snack today? Can we use real live sheep? Are you crazy? Who wants to snack on real live sheep? Yes, there will be a snack today, and no, we will not be using live sheep. Also, this isn't a question, but I heard the Crosby kids have chicken pox. Yes, I am aware that our wise men have chicken pox and will not be joining us tonight, but God will provide. He always does. Well, who do we have over here? Come on out, don't be shy. Are you here for the rehearsal? Um, yes we are. Well, it looks as if this will be perfect. Our wise men have chicken pox, so you can take their part. Your costumes are right behind that box. Now let's continue our rehearsal with a song about God's people waiting, longing for a savior. Mary shall bring forth a son, Emmanuel is his name. Emmanuel means God with us, we will never be the same. The people that walk in the darkness of the night, day is so dark, sin clouded at the light, in expectation. Wow. 
Yeah, we can't just see through them. I know. We can use my X-mas ray. It can penetrate most any material and let us see what is inside. We could distract this maple on the others. No problem. Agent F, this is what is called creating a diversion. Let's start our rehearsal. And there were shepherds living in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. Way out in the fields nearby lived shepherds keeping sight over all their flocks of sheep while others slept at night. We angels of the Lord appeared, and they were terrified. As God's glory showed around about, but then we angels cried. Fear not, we bring good news for all great tidings. We bring down a savior has been born to Bethlehem, David's town. Let's stop for a minute. Shepherd, how should you be reacting right now? Terrified. I've seen you look terrified and that's not it. How about this? <laughs> that's not it either. How would you react if your dog ate your iPod? <laughs> yes, we're getting closer, but let's keep working on it. Let's think about the message that the angels brought to those ordinary shepherds long ago. They had been waiting as long as they could remember, and the Messiah was finally to be born. It was the best news that they could have hoped for. Let us tell you the story, so you'll get it straight. Of a people who wait, they just wait and they wait. Thank you. 
Commander, when do you expect an update from your team? I'm very anxious to continue at my Christmas celebrations. Don't worry, Miss Kane. I'm sure we'll receive a message any minute now. Excellent. I've scheduled a quick manicure in the lounge while we wait. Lounge? What lounge? That tiny space around the corner. My office? Oh, sure, sweetie. Commander, why are we helping her? What do you mean, Agent Tiny? She's our client. Of course we want to help her. She, she doesn't like Christmas. What? what? Why would you say something like that? I heard her say that with my own ears. I heard her say if they were doing anything with Christmas, she would evict them. I don't know what that means, but it doesn't sound nice. <laughs> it means kick them out. Oh, oh no! no! Don't panic, everyone. We'll simply call the emergency channel in the hats telling them not to activate the jingle alert. Attention, I have an update. We are very excited to tell you that we have reached our goal and our tracking packages coming in by truckload. This, at this rate, we will be able to bless hundreds of fam families in our communities. Community. I am proud of each one, one of you. Many of you have even sacrificed buying gifts for your own family to give to the needy. Bingo, that's the answer. The packages are Christmas gifts for the community. Okay, let's activate the jingle alert. Mission accomplished. Okay, let's continue, Miss Willow. While they were, they were there, the time came CIK for emergency. the baby to be born. CIK emergency. Does anyone hear that? Where is that voice coming from? My hat! Oh, sorry, I must have left my cell phone on. We're ringtone too. I know, right? Everyone, please leave your cell phones off until after the rehearsal. Agents E, L, F, and S. We couldn't reach you through the emergency channel in your hats. Miss King is trying to invite everyone here who is trying to celebrate Christmas. Trying to invite? I think you mean evict. That's what I said. She's trying to kick them out. If Miss King gets here, the whole Christmas event will be ruined. Oh no! Oh, no. I hate to interrupt this little celebration. Ma'am, the doors actually won't be opening for another 10 minutes, but if you... I've been watching you for weeks, watching these packages coming in and out. Wait. I needed more. I needed real proof. I'm afraid I don't understand. Of course you don't. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Miss Harriet King, and this is my building. What you seem to have overlooked is that on page 147, section two, paragraph three of the rental agreement, it states that there's to be no celebrating of Christmas on the premises. Well, no, I was not aware of that. Always read the fine print here. I'll use my memory eraser on her and she'll forget all about not liking Christmas. How cute. It's a flashlight. But what about the gifts? What about the activity? What about the snacks? Surely you understand, Miss King, that we have a huge event planned for the community tonight. Perhaps you could Make an exception because it's Christmas? Not a chance. You have 10 minutes to leave the property or I'll call the authorities. Listen, we don't need a building to show God's love. You have been giving your time and treasure. I know God will honor your efforts. But how do you know? The Bible says that we can trust God with all our hearts. He is in control. Mary and Joseph trusted God. 
Mary believed that God had chosen her to give birth to his son, and she knew he would take care of them. Yes, God was still watching. He's always aware of people who trust him, who trust him and need taken care of. Be still and know that I'm God. I will be ex exalted in the earth. Psalms 4, 10, 46, 10. Did I forget to mention that on page 147, section two, paragraph four, it states that if the contract is to be broken, everything in the building belongs to me. Well, we'll just start again. It's just stuff and true treasure isn't anything you can hold or touch. That's right, Josiah. It sounds like people have been arriving. Let's all go outside and leave these packages with Miss King. Our celebration of the birth of Christ will go, go on as scheduled without the props, the set, and even the gifts. Well, good. You're taking this much better than I expected. I still don't understand. You've been collecting these boxes for months. Now you won't be able to now you won't be able to help the community like you planned. When it's time to give gifts, God will provide and make a way. Until then, we just need to be faithful and give ourselves to him as a gift. Merry Christmas, everyone, and thank you for all coming. We are thrilled to be able to remember with you the greatest Christmas gift ever. People who walked in darkness have seen a great light. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and he will be called. Joseph went to Bethlehem with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him, and was expecting a child. The time, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She pla placed him in, the, him in a manger, because there was no room for the, them in the inn. from the east came and asked, Where's the king of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him.
I got bigger, but I want you to have it. It's a bicycle with training wheels. You said you wanted one. But after I tried to stop the Christmas celebration, why would you be so kind to me? God gave us the greatest gift that Christmas. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believed in him will not die but have eternal life. John 3, 16. And that gift lives inside of us. Giving our lives back to him is our gift. Here is the truth that maybe you missed. It's about how the world was given a gift. It's about how God loved us and he loved us so deeply that he had to send Jesus to prove it completely. He would go to the cross and die in our place. We wouldn't deserve it, that's why it was grace. The gift is for anyone who will believe it. You just have to ask and you will receive it. Tissue, I need a tissue and a latte while you're at it. Thank you, darling. Extra hot 12 pumps vanilla. Well, I've never experienced this. I'm at a loss, I say. A loss! <coughs> no one has ever shown me such kindness when I have been so, so less than perfect. There's a tiny chance I, I may have overreacted. Well, when we give to others, we are imitating the actions of the greatest giver who gave the ultimate gift to us 2,000 years ago. God coming down to earth to save his people. Well, that's just amazing. Thank you. Well, don't just stand there. We need to give these all away. We need to give these all away to the people who need them. Yay! 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 Miss King, want to go with me to pass out the gift? Only if I can ride my bicycle. Do you know how to ride a bike? No. How hard can it be? Oh, boy. But first, I feel a song coming on. Uh, can I have the spotlight follow me over here, please? Oh, well. We're on it. Thank you. That's better. I like those carols, so keep on singing. I just want to stand and say, let's all celebrate Christmas Day. There's just no way to get around it. I love Christmas. You won't change my mind about it. There's just no way to get around it. We love Christmas. You won't change your mind about it. We love Christmas. We love, we love Christmas. News to the poor. Good news to the broken hearts. Good news to the captives. Good news. God with us, we're singing good news. Emmanuel, God. 
got a sneak. I'm sure I share everybody's thanks for all the kids and all the workers who work so hard with them. Um, you all are much appreciated and thank you. As we go from here out into the world, let us all take the message of the kids with us and the message of Jesus and the message of Advent season. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. <laughs> 